Yo, what's going on snipers and welcome back to our Vancouver Rain Draft to Glory franchise mode here in MLB The Show 23. So in last episode, we had the ALDS series against the Boston Red Sox and we managed to beat them in a very hard fought five games. And once again, we are up here in the ALCS against the White Sox for the second consecutive season. So it should be really interesting to see what happens this time around. But uh, in the ALDS against Boston, it was a very close series, and that's not even saying enough. Because game one, we lose 7-5, to five, so only by two runs. Then we won this game, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, off a hit in the bottom of the ninth or whatever, and won 3-2 to two to tie the series at one. Then we lost 7-6 to six in Boston, won 6-5 to five in Boston, and this game was absolutely insane. This game went to 19 innings, and we managed to escape with the victory. And in Game 5, we managed to have a strong start that pushed us to the fi uh, finish line, and we won 6-5 to five in that one. So every game except for Game 1 was a one-run win. And yeah, that one that went to 19 innings was absolutely insane, as you can see there. There was a couple hits in extras for both teams in the 14th inning, then it went to 18th inning, and both teams did the exact same thing. We managed to capitalize in the 19th again, and Dennis Lake managed to close out the game in the 19th. But yeah, that was absolutely insane. And then... Here is game five, as you can see, they kind of gave us a little bit of a scare late in the eighth inning, but we managed to hold them off because of our earlier runs we scored. So, But now we're going to be taking on the White Sox, and we know the White Sox pose a bigger threat in a sense because the White Sox obviously went to the World Series last year, and uh, they were the team that knocked us out in ALCS. But uh, the roster has fallen off a little bit. I will briefly go over the roster because I don't want this episode being super long for you guys. I know our last episode was like over an hour long. And I apologize about that, but here is what the White Sox are running. It's pretty similar to last time we played them, uh, but there is some changes a little bit. But you can see this is their pitching rotation, led by like Napoleon Conrad and a couple other solid overall players, mostly right-handers, a couple left-handers though. And then their bullpen, they did add a couple new players to their team, not Noah Schultz, um, as Andrew Abbott guy. They brought him in. I think this guy also is in his first season. So there's a couple new faces in their uh, bullpen. Also, Elmo Atkinson, which is a funny name. Got a shout out, Elmo. But yeah, that's basically what their team looks like. So a solid bullpen, solid starting pitchers. And then if we go to their lineup itself, there is an intriguing player, and I will get to why in a little bit. You can see this is their uh, batting order, and definitely they're a good offensive team based on who they have. They, a lot of these guys were here last year, if I'm not mistaken, like Coles and Montgomery. I think they had a different Montgomery as well last year, but it looks like they must have lost him. Uh, but yeah, they still have like jo uh, Jordan Lawler, Jamar Johnson, who knocked us out last year, Evan Carter, David Park. But the one player that's intriguing to me is Alex Ramirez. And you guys might be like, who the heck is Alex Ramirez? Well... This guy was our second pick of this franchise mode. We drafted him in year number one. He was the first player to reject a contract with the Vancouver Rain and decided, hey, he was too good to uh, sign with this team. We didn't sign him in the offseason, and he ended up signing with the Phillies and playing there for a few years, and now he is a White Sox. So very interested to see what this guy does against us. Hopefully not too much. But yeah, we did draft him way many years ago, which is pretty crazy. So hopefully that doesn't come back to bite us in the series. But he's pretty much the most intriguing player on this team just because of that, in my opinion. But obviously they do have a lot of really good players. Like all these guys up, up here are 88 plus. So I think this is going to be a pretty offensive based series, but it is tough to tell at this uh, spot. So that's that. Uh, they went through Tampa in five games. They were down 2-1, to one, so they've won their last two games. So hopefully uh, they don't win more than that. Also in the NL, you have Miami and Colorado. So let's see if we're able to uh, get redemption on the White Sox for last year and find ourselves in the World Series. That would be amazing. And uh, yeah, because obviously this White Sox team is no joke. Uh, during the regular season, I believe they were just shy of 100 wins. Yeah, 97 and 65, while we were 88 and 74. They were actually on a seven game winning streak going into the playoffs. But you can see basically we're better speed wise. They are much better defensively. We are way better pitching wise, power wise. We're a little bit better and same with contact. So I think it's going to come down to if their defense could hold up or if our pitching could hold up. So. Anyways, let's get into game number one as Garth Howe goes up against Samuel Sanchez. We are going to be on the road for most of the series, so 
hopefully we can win some road games here and yeah hopefully this episode isn't like two hours long because for some reason these playoff episodes always end up being super long for me i know it's kind of fun for you guys at least to watch a long episode but at the same time i know you guys don't have hours and hours to watch videos for so kind of want to make these a little bit shorter but it's kind of hard to at the same time so let's get into this that's good garth house starting and yeah we'll keep this batting order i think i i don't know if i reorganized it or not but i will keep it like this for now for game one so there we go bill o'donnell the leadoff man he's been great so far this postseason batting at 435 let's see what he's got in store a ground out okay <laughs> i don't think we're gonna get hits usually pretty early on it's gonna be more so in like the second or third inning ray mcmahon he lines out six stow flies out it's not a great start for our offense but that's okay Let's see what Garth can do in his second start of the playoffs. He was okay in his first start. Uh, didn't get the win, but uh, he was not too bad. Like, I mean, good whip-wise, but ERA was a little bit high. So let's see what he could do here. Ground out, ground out, and strike out. That's what we need from Garth. Exactly what we need. Bill Pineda gets the walk. I like it. Getting walked early is always nice. I could always try for the steal, but Ozzy swings. He flies out. Uh, we could try and steal now, but it's kind of early to start stealing. I feel like maybe start stealing around the third or fourth. Trevino swings. He hits a two-run shot, and it's 2 nothing rain early on. Let's go. Nicely done, Trevino. He didn't have the best uh, first round or ALDS, if you want to say it like that, uh, but uh, he's coming alive here so far in this next round. Gary Steiner rages on an error. Ollie Gelman hits into a double play. Damn. Let's see if Garth can get through this inning fast. And he does. Three straight ground outs. Jeff Pip up the bat. He had an okay last game of uh, the last series, but before that, he was not doing too well. He strikes out. Bill O'Donnell up again, strikes out, and Ray grounds out. Alex Ramirez against Garth Howe, which is interesting considering Ramirez was drafted before Garth Howe in the same draft. So... Because if uh, Ramirez was the second pick we had, Garth Howe was like round four or five. So we drafted some pretty good players after Alex Ramirez. Um, Alex Ramirez obviously hasn't developed into being that type of guy, but hopefully he doesn't do good against us. And he singles, okay. Not ideal. And that's back-to-back -back singles given up by Garth Howe. We need to be careful here. Uh, let's try and pick off second. Safe. Ryan Bliss strikes out. Colson Montgomery, this guy's really solid. Not so much so far in the playoffs, but he is a good player. And he flies out. Jordan Lawler strikes out. Good job, Howe, getting out of that situation. Sixto strikes out. Pineda flies out. And whoever else was last uh, went out as well. I didn't read it fast enough. Jamar Johnson, we do not like this guy at all. He grounds out. Evan Carter doubles. Not ideal. Let's just try and pick him off, because why not? Park walks. That's two men on base again with only one out. AJ Vukovic. This guy's not very good. Let's go pinch to contact. Fielder's choice. Okay, that's better. Two outs. This guy's in scoring position. Of course, it's Alex Ramirez up the bat. We do not want Alex to get in a run. That would not be nice. And he flies out. Nice. Anton Gervino back up to bat again. Last time up, he hit a home run. Can he do it again? No, he cannot. Gary Steiner flies out and ollie flies out as well we are still up to nothing into the bottom of the fifth so very defensive game we only have one hit so far in this game so our offense is definitely not doing too well but then again we have uh at least we have the lead in a sense they have more hits than us i didn't even realize that because of that one inning connor scott strikes out ryan bliss pops up and colson montgomery grounds out jeff pip looking to come alive here he walks We've reached on walk a couple times. We haven't really gotten much hits, but we've been walking at least. Bill O'Donnell flies out. Ray McMahon double play, and that ends that inning. We're headed to the bottom of the six, still up to nothing. Jordan Lawler strikeout. Tamar Johnson strikeout. Evan Carter solo home run to pull them within one. That's not ideal. Garth was having a great game up to that point. I mean, he only has given up four hits, so he is still doing really well, but that kind of sucks that uh, that one hit had to be a home run. Why couldn't it just be a single? David Park, he strikes out. Sixto pops up. Pineda pops up, and Ozzy strikes out. Our offense is not doing too well here. If we're able to win this game, it's because of Garth Howe. So, we definitely might need to change up the batting order for next game. 
AJ Vukovic doubles. That's not ideal. Ramirez. Uh, yeah, we'll just go pitch. Strike out. Connor Scott. Ground out. And Ryan Bliss. Grounds out as well. Let's go. That's pretty good. Anton Dravino up again. He's got the only run scored. And that was all the way back in the second. We're already in the eighth. And they make a pitching change to Rob Winters. Winter is not coming, please. Trevino pops up. Steiner strikes out. And Ollie reaches on an air. Uh, he will try and steal. And he does manage to steal. Ollie's always a menace on the base. Can Jeff Pip bring him in? No, he can't. Um, yeah, let's make a pitching change. I don't want Garth to get too tired here. Let's bring in Doug Rubel. Dougie Rubel. Can Dougie Rubel set up Dennis Lake to come and close this game out or one of our other closers fly out nice strike out and ground out nicely done now can we add some insurance just to play it safe Bill O'Donnell and they force a pitching change in comes Elmo Atkinson from Sesame Street Bill O'Donnell walks nice Ray McMahon flies out Sixto strikes out and Pineda strikes out. We're headed to the bottom of the ninth. Up by a run. Do we bring in somebody like Ken Robert to close out this game? Or Luis Guzman even for that matter. Let's bring in Guzman. Let's bring in Guzman to close this one out. He was really good in the last time he played. Ground out. Park. Walks. I don't like that. Vukovic. Strike out. And they're down to their last out. And it's of course Alex Ramirez. Let's just lay our demon here. And we got him. Caught stealing, apparently, in that last one. And we win 2-1 to one in Game 1. That's a great pitching performance. Exactly what we kind of need. Because we're more of an offensive team, so we are able to shut them out defensively. We only had one hit all game, though. Which is really terrible. But we managed to win. Because Garth Howe had uh, a very solid 7 innings with 8 strikeouts. And he only gave up a home run, basically was their only run that they scored so we win game one two to one we have a serious lead for the first time which is good and uh carmen osuna will be pitching game two he did not play great in his first game against the red Sox. i think it was right yeah or i don't know if it was game two or game three that he was pitching i think it was game three but he comes in in a big spot to potentially give us a two nothing series lead headed home which would be huge for the series Let's uh, adjust our lineup a little bit because of the offense was not great in that last game. Let's uh, try and rework it a little bit. See if we're able to find something out that works a bit. There got to be something that works out a little bit for this team. Let's go with that. Yeah, let's go something like this. And see if that works. Okay, game number two. Let's see if we could take a 2 nothing stranglehold. Well, it wouldn't be really a stranglehold, but a 2 nothing series lead at least. Uh, we don't want to go sim through date. We want to go view organizations game, play game. We're going up against Matt Hogan in this one, who's been pretty good apparently in this playoffs. So hopefully Osuna has a redemption game from his last game. And then we probably, if Sammy's ready to go for game three, I'll probably go to Sammy. I don't really want to go to Montero and Silva at all as much as possible in the playoffs, but I might have to at some point. Yeah, it looks good. We are ready to go for game two. Can we take a 2-0 series lead? Bill O'Donnell walks. Good way to start it off. Ozzy, double play. <laughs> That's not a great way to start it off. So we got a walk in and we immediately hit into a double play. Ray McMahon singles. Nice. Let's uh, try and steal second because might as well with two outs. And he steals. Can Sixto bring him in? He cannot. Let's see what Osuna's got in him. Vukovic strikes out. Lawler singles. Tamar Johnson singles, Lawler's in scoring position. Not ideal. Evan Carter's up the bat. I do not want to pitch to contact because I think this guy's pretty good contact-wise. So I feel like he might be able to bring in multiple runs if I did that. Normal pitch, and one run is scored. At least it's only one run, but yeah, Osuna's not really that great of a playoff uh, pitcher just yet. He's kind of doing what Sammy did last year because Sammy was in his first season, so to speak. And uh, he didn't do well in the playoffs, but he did really well in the regular season. And that's the same type of thing Osuna is doing right now. So he will probably be better next year, more than likely at this rate. But uh, let's try and stop the bleeding a little bit if possible. Groshans hits into a double play. Nice. Nice indeed. 
At least we already have one hit because we only had one hit all of last game. So maybe we'll be better in the batting department this game. Trevino, solo shot. That's back-to-back -back games with a home run for Anton Trevino. And this game is tied just like that. <laughs> well, I was not expecting that. Okay. Ollie Gelman up the bat. He grounds out. Bill Pineda lines out. And Steiner grounds out. Okay. Colson Montgomery walks. Let's uh, try and pick him off. Ramirez walks as well. Yeah, Osuna's having a tough time this postseason. Chase louder brings in two runs. It's now 3-1. I don't like that Chicago's offense is doing this well, but it's probably because Osuna's pitching. The louder's in scoring position with no outs. Ground out, nice. Single, not ideal. Fly out, and Tamar Johnson flies out. Still only down by two, so it's not really the worst case scenario. We could definitely be down by a lot more. Can we get back into this game again? Pip grounds out. O'Donnell strikes out. And our man Ozzy singles. Okay, Ozzy. Can Ray McMahon do something? No, he cannot. Uh, Evan Carter strikes out. Groshans grounds out. Montgomery strikes out. And now we're back up to bat again. Sixto, who's been pretty good up to this point. At least in the first round, he was good. He hasn't been great so far here. So hopefully, he could get going a little bit. Sixto grounds out. Trevino flies out. And Gelman singles. Might as well try and steal with Ollie because he's usually 100% successful. And he does manage to steal again. Can Bill Pineda bring him in? He can't. Not ideal. Ramirez, solo shot, and Alex Ramirez has a home run against his former team. Damn, that really sucks. That's a little bit more of an insult to injury. Chase louder up to bat now. Pop up. Park strikes out, and Vukovic grounds out. We're down by three. We need to get our offense going here. It's been pretty quiet in the series at this point, even though we won last game. Steiner grounds out. Pip grounds out, and O'Donnell flies out. I do not like the lack of offense. Definitely need to find a way to change that up a bit. Um, Jordan Lawler flies out. Termar Johnson singles. Usuna's getting a bit tired. Here, let's go one more pitch. Single. Let's get out of this and uh, change over to Bobby Hyde. Groshans pops up. And Montgomery flies out. Ozzy Cardenas. Come on, Ozzy. Doubles. Let's go, Ozzy. Use that speed. Even though you don't really have it. <laughs> Ray McMahon, can Ray bring in Ozzy? He can't, but he does get walked. So we got two guys on base with no outs. This is a big spot for Giancarlo Sixto to get us back into the game. Sixto hits, and he walks. Okay, well, he doesn't hit and walk, but he walks. We have bases loaded with no outs for Anton Trevino, who's got back-to-back -back games with a home run. Can he get a third home run and, like, get us to lead somehow? Trevino hits into a double play. I should have went for like a sack fly maybe. I don't know. Because now we might not be able to bring in even a single run out of that. That was like the worst case scenario for Trevino to hit into. Can Ollie Gelman bring in McMahon? He can't. We don't bring in a single run on the bases loaded. That's not good. Ground out. Ground, or strike out. And fly out. Come on boys. Get that offense going. This guy's getting tired. Pineda. Pitching change to Rob Winters again for the second straight game. Pineda swings, and he actually walked, so he didn't swing. <laughs> Can uh, we get Pineda in is the question. Steiner singles as well. Pineda is in scoring position with no outs. Can Pip bring him in? He cannot. Can Bill bring him in? He uh, They actually changed pitchers already. Damn, that was a quick change. Elmo Atkinson comes back in. Can Pineda get brought in by O'Donnell? No. I should have probably went for the sack, but I was thinking that we would be able to hit against this guy. Can Ozzy bring in Bill? He cannot, but bases are loaded with two outs for Ray McMahon. This is the second time we've loaded the bases in like back-to-back -back innings. But this time around, we're at two outs, so Ray, you got to put this in play here. This is a big spot. Ray McMahon swings, and he brings in two runs. It's a one-run game, 4-3 now. That's a huge hit there from Ray McMahon. He is the man. <laughs> Can Sixto bring in the tying run? He cannot, and we're down still by one, going into the bottom of the seventh. Pop-up, walk, not ideal. 
Stolen base by a guy that has bad stealing. Okay. Jamar Johnson singles. Oh, no. Um, Let's uh, just go pitch here. Pop up. Nice. Groshans. Fielder's choice. And we get out of that situation. Anton Trevino trying to get us back to a tie game. They change pitchers to Jason Bartley, who we have yet to see. Trevino walks. Okay, Trevino. Ollie Gelman. Singles as well. We got a lot of speed on the base paths right now, which is nice. Bill Pineda up the bat. Can Pineda bring in the tying run? He cannot. Can Gary Steiner bring in the tying run? He cannot, but Trevino is not too far away. Pip needs to put this in play if he wants to tie this game up. We could always make a pinch hit situation here. Steve has yet to play in the playoffs. We're going to bring in Steve Schneider. I know you guys probably are like, Steve Schneider sucks. Well, I know he's a better player usually off the bench. So let's see if Steve Schneider can bring in Trevino to tie this game up. He cannot, but he does get walked. So bases are loaded again. We've had like three situations with the bases loaded. Can Bill O'Donnell drive in the tying run? He cannot. And we're still trailing. God damn it. That sucks. That sucks a lot. Let's see if Bobby could get out of this walk. Not ideal. Let's uh, go pick off first. Ramirez strike out the louder singles. Not ideal. Park strikes out. And Vukovic drives in a run. We're down by two now. Damn it. Lawler strikes out. And we're headed to the top of the ninth. Down by two. We need our offense to get two runs. Or else we are going to have a tie series headed home. Which I mean is not the worst case scenario. We could have been down 0-2 at this point. But... We had a solid first game. Can Ozzy get the offense going? They uh, change over to their closer, I think, in Eddie Sterling. Cardenas grounds out. Ray McMahon singles. Okay, Ray. We got to get a little bit aggressive here. Can Ray steal second? He does. Can Giancarlo Sixto bring him in? He does not. And we're down to our last batter, Anton Trevino, who's been good in this series so far with the home run count. Can he bring him in? If he hits a home run here, I'll be really surprised. Trevino grounds out, and that is game two. Unfortunately, we lose in this one, and the player of the game goes to our former draft pick, Alex Ramirez. And we have a tie series headed back home. Not ideal for Osuna. He has definitely been our worst pitcher so far in the playoffs, but we will be turning to probably... Probably, let me see our pitching rotation. Probably Sammy now. Sammy should be ready to go for this game, I think. If I'm not mistaken, Sammy's been great. I just don't really feel like turning to Montero in this type of spot yet. So, and let's uh, look at our lineup and let's see if we could address some things a little bit. Is there anybody in the outfield that has been terrible? Steiner's been pretty damn bad. Gelman's been okay. And Bill O'Donnell's been really good. So, I am going to take Steiner out of the lineup for Josh Groves on all of these spots and we'll see if that's able to get something going a bit because Josh Groves has been pretty good in the past in the playoffs and I have not been as sold on Steiner's performance so far so might as well make somewhat of an adjustment to our lineup and see if that works in our favor okay so that's what we'll do sammy up to go against napoleon conrad who i think was their ace last year when we played them if i remember right okay that's good we are at least are on home field for the next three games so hopefully we could take at least two of these three to set up ourselves in a good spot sammy's not fully energized but i think he's ready to go yeah i think he's ready to go for this one I think he's ready. He was really good last time, and we want to get the series lead if we can. Maybe it'll give us some momentum. So, Sammy up against Vukovic. Fly out. Lawler pops up, and Johnson flies out. Good start. Trevino flies out. Josh Groves up the bat. He flies out, and Sixto grounds out. Evan Carter singles. Not ideal. Let's try to pick you off. Groshan singles as well. Maybe it was a bad call putting in Sammy. I don't know. He Two guys on base already. Hopefully he's not going to have his worst game yet. Colson Montgomery. Singles as well. Bases loaded and no outs. God damn it. And of course Alex Ramirez is up to bat. Um, hmm. 
Let's go pitch. Ah, uh, two runs score. Alex Ramirez is trying to beat us so badly here. That's four straight singles against him. He's having a tough time in this game. Maybe I should have gave him a little bit more rest. Uh, let's go pitch to contact for the double play. No. Oh, my goodness. And they score in another run. Okay, yeah, maybe it was a bad call to go to Sammy. Because this is only the second inning, and he's getting pretty tired already. Uh, 3 nothing. They have six hits already. Okay, we got to get Jamar Johnson out here. There we go. Okay, we need our offense to get going here. And Ray McMahon gets on base. He steals second. Can Bill O'Donnell bring him in? Yes, he can. Two-run shot. That's a big answer to a bad inning. Let's go. Let's go, Bill. Ollie strikes out. Yoannis Berg. Oh, yeah, because we're going up against a left-hander. I forgot about that. So Berg is in the lineup as the DH. He flies out. Let's see if uh, Sammy could uh, respawn a little bit from his terrible inning. Fly out. Ground out and ground out. Okay, that's much better. Jeff Pip grounds out. Trevino flies out. Groves grounds out. Alex Ramirez again. Pops up. The louder pops up. Park walks. Vukovic strikes out. Sixto up now. He walks. Let's go Sixto. Ozzy strikes out. Ray strikes out. And Bill O'Donnell strikes out. We're probably going to get like one or two more innings out of Sammy. Maybe I should have went to a different guy for now, just so Sammy could get fully rested, but it is what it is. Okay, so come on, Sammy. Just don't allow any hits. Ground out, strike out, and fly out. Nice. Ollie up to bat. We're down by only a run, but we've given up more hits. Let's see if Ollie can get us going. Fly out, Berg grounds out, and Pip grounds out. One more in inning maybe at most of Sammy. Ground out. Strikeout, double, yikes. Yeah, Ramirez is definitely having a good time against us, which kind of sucks. The louder pops up. Nice, okay. Trevino trying to get us back into this game, only down by one. He singles. Uh, steal second, yep, nicely done. Can Josh Groves bring him in? He strikes out. Can Sixto bring him in? He strikes out. God damn it, guys, come on. Ozzy strikes out too. And we will make a pitching change over to Jack Birch. Because Jack Birch has been really good so far as a reliever. And he gives up a double, of course, on the first play instead. I said he's been good, and now he's not. Fukovic, two-run shot. Jack Birch off to a terrible start here in this game as a reliever. We're now down by three. Our pitching definitely is not uh, doing as well as it was in game one. Fly out. Pop our fly out as well and a walk. Let's try and pick you off. And another walk. Stop giving up walks there, Jackie. You were much better than this before. Strike out. Okay, we're down by three. We need to claw back into this. Ray McMahon grounds out. Bill O'Donnell walks. Can he steal second? Yes, he can. Can Ollie Gelman bring him in? He does. Let's go. We're back within two again. We're getting close to us again. Can Ollie steal second? They make a pitching change to Rob Winters. Is he going to be able to steal? He does manage to steal against a new pitcher. Let's go. Can Yoannis Berg bring in Ollie? He cannot. Can Jeff Pri uh, Jeff Pip bring in Ollie? He cannot. And we're headed into the eighth, down by two. We'll keep with Birch for now. Ramirez strikes out. The louder singles. Park flies out. Vukovic strikes out. Okay, we're down to two innings left to try and get our game tied back up. Trevino up the bat. And they change over to Jason Bartley. Trevino strikes out. Josh Grove singles. Okay, we got to get a little bit aggressive here. Can Grove steal second? He can't. No, he can't. He got caught. God damn it. Can Sixto get us back into this game? He gets a walk. Okay. Can Ozzy get something going? He can't. We're headed into the ninth, down by two runs. We need a good defensive inning here. Um, let's uh, let's keep with Jack Birch for now. Ground out, single, not ideal. Carter fly out and Groshan's stolen base. Damn, I wasn't expecting that. Groshan strikeout. 
Okay, we're into the bottom of the ninth now. We need two runs or else we're going to be down 2-1 in the series. Ray McMahon. They make a pitching change to their closer. Can Ray McMahon extend this game? Pops up. Bill O'Donnell strikes out. And we're down to just Ollie Gelman here. Can Ollie Gelman maybe give us some hope? No, we cannot. And unfortunately, we have fallen down 2-1 in the series in another close game. AK, AJ Vukovic is the player of the game. I almost said AK. <laughs> oh, man. Back-to-back 5-3 -back losses. And now for the next game, we'd be turning to, like, Montero, I think. Unless Garth Howe is ready to go again. But, uh, oh, boy. Our lineup has kind of struggled a bit. I mean, it's still really solid, a lot of the players on it, but... We need to find a way to get our the ma most out of our lineup as possible here. So Ozzy's good at contact. Same with Bill. Same with McMahon. Let's get Trevino in the three spot instead. Get McMahon, Ollie, Pineda there. Actually, Josh Groves there instead. I think we might be going up another left hand against another left hander though. It's the thing. Let's try and swap some stuff around here. Yeah, let's go something along those lines. Oh, boy. I don't want to lose another series to the White Sox, but it might honestly happen. They're just maybe too good of a team. And then, uh, yeah, Colorado and Miami are tied at two right now. But we need to win uh, still three more games if we want to win the series. So here we go. Next game. Uh, let me go play for a second. Let me see the energy bars for our pitchers here and make sure we want to go to Montero or not. If we go to Montero, we'll fall down 3-1 likely. That's the problem. Silva's ready to go. Garth is not fully ready. Yeah, I don't want to take the chance in bringing in Garth yet. I want to get him fully rested first. So, Willie Montero, you need to win us this game. And our offense needs to show up here because we know Montero is not the best, so... This is a lot to put on uh, William Montero, but hopefully he could deliver here. At least put up some solid innings, and then hopefully our relievers could take over. So Colson Montgomery pops up. Lawler strikes out. And Termar Johnson grounds out. Good start. Good start indeed. So a good inning from Montero. Can our offense respond? Ozzy grounds out. Bill doubles. Let's go, Bill. I'm liking Bill's performance a lot this postseason. Can Trevino bring him in? He does. Another home run in the series for Antoine Trevino. He's got three against the White Sox. He's been great. And we have a 2-0 lead here. Sixto triples. Holy shit. <laughs> what a run from Giancarlo Sixto. Can Ray bring him in? Let's go for the sack fly on this. Strikes out. God damn it. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Ollie can't get him in. Damn, that sucks. We could have literally been up 3-0 because of that triple, but we couldn't drive him in. So 2 nothing going into the top of the second. Let's see if Montero keeps on dealing here. And, okay, one single. That's not terrible. Strikeout, nice. Three strikeouts and four uh, at-bats. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Grove st uh, strikes out, does it say, or grounds out? I don't even know. Pineda singles. Let's go, Pineda. Let's see if he can get to second. He does. Pip can't get him in. Ozzy can't get him in. Still up 2 nothing. I like that our offense is off to a good start in terms of hits, but hopefully it maintains itself. They uh, single with Connor Scott. Bliss strikes out. Montgomery hits into a double play. Let's go. Bill up to bat again. He's been great so far. He grounds out. Trevino singles. Trevino is coming alive a lot here in this uh, series. He was a great player in the regular season. Didn't have a great uh, ALDS, but the ALCS, he's been really good so far. Sixto hits into a double play. That's unfortunate. Strikeout there. Single for Tamar Johnson. Evan Carter, runner thrown out, trying to get to home. Jeez, I don't know why he was trying to run that far, but Evan Carter does get a double against us, which is not ideal. Park, hit by pitch. Oh, man, that's not great. William Montero's kind of losing a little bit here. Can he get out of this situation? He does. Let's go. Ray McMahon, fly out. Ollie Gelman strikes out, and Josh Grove singles. Can Josh Grove steal second? 
He does. Let's go, Josh. Can Bill Pineda bring him in? No, he can't. Alex Ramirez is up to bat. Pops up. Connor Scott strikes out. And Ryan Bliss grounds out. So far, liking the pitching performance. Pip up to bat. He grounds out. Cardenas grounds out. And Bill strikes out. Colson Montgomery up to bat. He walks. Not ideal. Jordan Lawler singles. Oh, no. Come on, Montero. Get out of the situation, my buddy. Get out of the situation. Tamar Johnson. Fielder's choice. Well, that's okay. How we could uh, potentially get them to hit into a double play, but it's Evan Carter, and he's pretty good. And he brings in all three runs. God damn it. Montero, you were doing so freaking good, and now we're trailing. Oh, my goodness. Maybe I should have, like, tried the pitch to contact instead. Oh, my goodness. Or tried the pitch around him. Damn it. And we're now trailing 3-2. Hit by pitch, yeah. Montero's kind of losing his uh, confidence a little bit. Fielder's choice. I'll take it. Let's get this last out here. Singles. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I'm making a pitching change. Montero's coming out. In comes uh, Kenny Olger, who was terrible in the first uh, since the time he was uh, pitching, but let's see what he could do. Strike out. Nice. Okay, we're only down by one. Let's uh, see if we can respond to that uh, top of the uh, sixth with uh, our own offense. Trevino walks. I like it. Can he steal second? He does. Can Sixo bring him in? No, he can't, but he does reach on an error. We got two men on base with no outs for Ray McMahon. Ray swings. He hits into a fielder's choice, but Trevino is in scoring position. Can Ollie bring him home? They make a pitching change to Jimmy Chavez. Can Ollie bring in Trevino? He does bring them both in, and we have restored the lead. Let's go, Ollie. Let's go. 4 3 game. Ollie's now in scoring position. Can Ollie be brought in by Josh? He cannot. Can Bill Pineda bring him in? He cannot. And we're only up by one. This is a back and forth game as well. Another close one. Let's see what Kenny's got in store. Single, not ideal. Fly out there. Fly out there. And single there, not ideal. Let's try and pick off uh, second, safe. Evan Carter again. Come on, Olger, you got this. Nice, ground out. Jeff Pip grounds out. Ozzy flies out. Bill strikes out. Come on, Kenny, you got this, man. Walks again. Yeah, Kenny's having still a little bit of a rough time, but hopefully he can just get out of these spots. Double play. Let's go, Kenny. That's exactly what I wanted. And Alex Ramirez strikes out. And we're headed to the bottom of the eighth with a one-run lead. Anton Trevino doubles. That's huge to maybe give us some insurance. Six though. Can't bring him in. Ray McMahon singles. And we have runners on the corners with one out. They do have the double play spot though as well. Can Ollie bring in another run? He cannot yet. Elmo Atkinson comes in. Can Ollie bring in Trevino? He does. He brings in all three guys. And Ollie Gelman's having himself quite the game here. 7-3. to three. That has opened up the floodgates. We are up by 4 with uh, potentially going into the top of the ninth soon. Let's go. Josh Grove singles as well. Bill Pineda hits into the double play. And we're in to the top of the ninth. We'll bring out Dennis Lake to close out this game. He has a lot of leeway here, so he should be able to do this. Connor Scott, solo home run. Are you serious, Dennis? Why is Dennis such a, like, a guy that just, like, he's always, like, half asleep when he comes out onto the field? Like, I swear, every time he comes out, he gives up a, a shot right out of the gate. That's, like, the second time this playoff run. Ryan Bliss walks. Dennis, don't do this to me. Colson Montgomery flies out. Jordan Lawler strikes out. They're down to their last out. It's Termar Johnson, of all people. He flies out, and we have taken game four. We have tied the series up again. Anton Trevino, the player of the game, though. Three for three with three runs, a home run, two RBIs, a double, a stolen base, and a walk. But I thought uh, that was probably going to be Ollie Gelman's player of the game, but he wasn't. How good was Ollie? Uh, let's see, where are you, Ollie Gelman? Five RBIs. Why wasn't he the player of the game? He brought in most of our runs. Goddamn. Well, anyways, we have a tie series here, and obviously the next game is another home game before we have two on the road. 
Last year we went to seven games with the White Sox, so this might be still another long episode based on how this is trending. And Miami is one win away from going to the World Series, so just in case you guys wanted to know about the NL. Um, so we aren't going to be going to Pablo Silva this game. There's no way we are going to Pablo Silva this game, are we? I mean, the other guys are probably not super energized, and I don't want to go necessarily to Sammy yet. I could go to Sammy, but it's a risk. Maybe I will have to go to Pablo in this game. Maybe I will. Because, I mean, William Montero was not as bad as I was thinking it would be. Sammy's been great, but obviously we want to rest some of these guys in case we go to the World Series. Or if we go to seven games. Osuna's been tragic so far, and Garth Howe's been pretty solid, so... Hmm. I don't think I want to use any of my top three guys in order just to take a one-game series lead here. I'd rather use a guy like Silva here and then bring out the big guns for the next two games if we absolutely need to. And hopefully that would help us get into a uh, World Series position. So, let's get into this game. We're going to leave it as Pablo Silva, which might be a massive, massive, massive... I can't want to keep on saying massive because it might be a big, big mistake putting him in here. But who knows, maybe he'll surprise us. He was one of the best prospects in baseball at one time, but he has not really lived up to that expectation. So can he be a playoff guy for us? I don't think he's going to go super long into this game. But you can see like how and Osuna should be ready to go for the next few games. Sammy's still a ways away. Same with Montero, obviously. So can Pablo Silva surprise us with a good effort here? We're on home field, so let's use that to our advantage. Ground out, ground out, and strike out. Good start. Good start indeed. Trevino strikes out. Cardenas pops up, and Ray grounds out. Pretty quick first inning there. Evan Carter strikes out. Colson Montgomery fries out, and David Park walks. At least it's only a walk. Vukovic grounds out, and we're headed to the bottom of the second without giving up a hit. Sixto pops up. Grove singles. Let's go, Josh. Let's try and get you to steal. And he gets caught. Got to be careful with those type of things. Bill O'Donnell strikes out, and we're headed to the top of the third with uh, only one hit so far for us. Alex Ramirez flies out. Connor Scott strikes out, and Luis Burrito strikes out. Not bad. Not bad at all so far. Ollie Gelman grounds out. Johannes Berg, who's in lineup, because I guess we're going up against a left-hander. Grounds out as well, and Jeff Pip walks. Can Trevino do something here? He cannot. Lawler walks as well. Let's try and pick him off. Jamar Johnson hits into a fielder's choice. Evan Carter singles, and they have two men on base with only one out. Colson Montgomery flies out. Let's get to uh, Park out here. Nice. I'm really liking the performance so far from Pablo Silva. Obviously, that could come crashing down, but so far, he's been good. Ozzy walks. Let's go, Ozzy. Ray flies out. Sixto, fielder's choice. And Josh Grove singles. We got two guys on base with two outs for Bill O'Donnell. Can Bill O'Donnell bring in Giancarlo? He cannot, but he does load the bases. We have three men on base with two outs for Ollie Gelman, who just came off a five RBI game. Does he have more in him in the bottom of the fourth? No, he doesn't. Damn it. That's not ideal. Strike out there. Ramirez strikes out and Connor Str uh, Scott strikes out. So three straight strikeouts there from Pablo Silva. He's been great up to this point. Johannes Berg, who has not done much so far since being put in the lineup against left-handers. Singles. Let's go, Johannes. Jeff Pip brings him in. Okay, I was not expecting Pip to get a double, but he brings him in. We have a 1-0 lead. Can Trevino bring in Pip? He does not, but he does get him closer. We have two men on base, both on the corners, with no outs. Can Ozzy drive in another run? He cannot, but bases are loaded now for Ray McMahon with no outs. This is a big spot for Ray again. He had a good spot a couple games ago, and he delivered. Can he do it again? No, he can't yet, because they make a pitching change as Noah Schultz comes in. Can Ray bring in a run? He cannot, he pops up. Can Sixto bring in a run? He does not because of the fielder's choice, which is not great. We're now at two outs with bases loaded for Josh Groves. Can Groves bring in one of these runs? 
he does bring in one of these runs, and it is a 2-0 lead. Now, we have seven hits to their one hit. Can Bill O'Donnell add to our insurance? He does, and once again, we have bases loaded, 3-0. I like that we're adding to our lead here. Can Ollie hit these guys all in? No, he can't. We're headed to the top of the six in a good spot. Let's see if Pablo Silva keeps on dealing or not. And he gives up one hit here, a single. And a ground out. Nice. Johannes Berg is back up again because we went through almost our entire order in the last uh, last inning. Berg singles for the second time tonight. Pip strikes out. Trevino, fielder's choice. And Aussie singles as well. Trevino is now in scoring position with two outs. Can Ray bring him in? He does bring in both runs with a triple. It is now 5-0 Vancouver. Let's go. We are now at 10 hits in this game, so our offense has been great so far up to this point. Can Sixto bring in Ray? He doesn't. Let's see if Silva can keep on dealing. Ground out, strikeout, and strikeout. What a performance so far from Silva. He is uh, showing me that he actually maybe deserves to be one of the pitchers that plays in these playoffs for us. Josh Groves. Doubles. Let's go, Groves. Bill O'Donnell. Pitching change to Rob Winters again. Can Bill bring in Josh? No, he walks, though. You got two guys on base again with a lot of speed. Can Ollie bring him in? He does not. Johannes Berg, he's been good this game so far. He walks in. We have three men on base again with only one out. Can Jeff Pip hit a grand slam? Because that would be the ultimate meme. Jeff Pip swings, and he brings in two runs at 7 nothing for Vancouver. Let's go, guys. This is a great game. Hopefully, we are able to win this series still, because we do need to win one more game after this, though. Trevino flies out, and Ozzy hits in the fielder's choice. We're up 7 nothing, headed into the top of the 8th. Silva still has a lot of stamina. Ramirez strikes out. Connor Scott strikes out. And Brito walks. So let's try and pick him off. Lawler grounds out. I might honestly keep Silva in the entire game at this rate. Ray McMahon does not get the pit, uh, hit against that guy. Elmo Atkinson comes in again. Ray singles. Okay, Ray. Six, though. Singles as well. And Ray is over to third because he's fast. Can Josh bring him in? He does bring him in, and Sixto's now over to third. We're up 8-0. Bill swings. He walks as well. Bases are loaded with no outs for Ollie Gelman again. Ollie swings. He flies out. Uenis Burke, he's been good this game. He swings. He lines out as well. And can Pip bring in more runs? He can. Three more RBIs for Jeff Pip. Whoever said Jeff Pip was a bust is absolutely wrong. And that was me, actually, that said that, but... Jeff Pip coming in the clutch here. We're up 11 to nothing now. We are firing on all cylinders, which makes me feel like we're going to get completely, uh, like our offense is just going to be nowhere the next two games. Just watch. Trevino can't bring in Pip yet, and he can't bring him in there. He walks. Ozzy walks, and we have bases loaded again. <laughs> Can Ray McMahon bring in any more runs? He does. He brings in two more runs. We're up 13 to nothing. We are dominating the White Sox in this one. Too bad this isn't the one that decides if we go to the next round or not. We have 17 hits to their two. Yeah, we're definitely not going to score any runs next game or the game afterwards at this rate. But anyways, we're up 13 to nothing. Pablo Silva up against Termar Johnson. We're going to keep him in. Can he go for a perfect game shutout? Or Well, not a perfect game, I guess. A complete game shutout. Only giving up two hits. Strike out there. Tartar strikes out. And the last guy, Montgomery, reaches on an error. David Park singles. I want Pablo to do this for himself. So I'm going to keep him in for now because we have a huge lead. AJ Vukovic. Fielder's choice. And Pablo Silva with a nine-inning perfect game or whatever you want to call it. Only gives up three hits. And, uh, yeah, we win 13 to nothing in a big game there. Wow. So Pablo Silva might actually be a good pitcher. We just have uh, to wait to the playoffs to see it. His regular season, he was not really there, but that was a dominant performance. And our offense was great in that game. Let's go. 
We got to win a game in Chicago now, though, which is going to be tough. And Miami has taken out Colorado. So if we do get a win in these next two games, we'd be taking on Miami in the World Series. So let's uh, keep our lineup, I think, the same. Who would be pitching next game? Garth Howe. I kind of want to keep Garth Howe for the World Series if we are to get there. But at the same time, we might not get there if I don't do a change. I think I got to go Garth Howe for this game. Osuna could start game one of the World Series if we are to get there. And then we go to Sammy. We could tie the series up. And then we'd probably go to like Silva again because Silva was great. Then we go back to Garth Howe. Montero is probably going to be the guy that's like on the outside, in my opinion. So, yeah, let's go Garth Howe. Got to put out a race to try and close this out. Because if we aren't able to close it out with him, then it's going to be probably pretty tough otherwise. And we're going to keep our lineup the exact same. It's been pretty good so far. And it just came off a 13-run game. 20 runs in our last two games. Can we close out the White Sox and go to the World Series for the first time in franchise history? Well, first time in this history. I don't know if the Oakland A's have ever been in the World Series. I don't really know baseball history. so. But I would say in Vancouver Rain history. Like, Just picture we're a new team. Don't uh, take into account anything Oakland A's related. But can we go to the World Series and knock out the White Sox for knocking us out last year? Or are we going to another Game 7 situation? Garth Howe, let's see if he can do this for us. He is the man. Will he be able to do it now on the road? So right here in the top of the first. Let's see if we can get our bats going here early. Ozzy grounds out. Bill strikes out. Trevino pops up. Burrito for them. Singles. Not ideal to start off the game. Lawler flies out. Termar Johnson strikes out. Evan Carter singles. They got two guys on base already. I don't like that. Montgomery hits into a fielder's choice. That's a bunch better. Six, though, who's been kind of struggling since uh, the uh, ALDS swings. He strikes out. Ray McMahon hit by pitch. Let's try and get him to steal. And he steals. Can Ollie bring him in? No. Can Josh Groves bring him in? No, he can't. David Park grounds out. Vukovic strikes out. Ramirez walks. Um, let's try and pick him off. Connor Scott strikes out. Okay, pretty solid game so far. Beneta strikes out. Pip strikes out. Ozzy grounds out. Like I was saying the last game, I feel like after all that offense, we're going to kind of drop off a lot, and we have yet to record a single hit through three innings. <laughs> We still got a lot of time left, but I am kind of getting worried. Brito pops up. Lawler, solo shot. We're down 1 0. That sucks. Jamar Johnson lines out, and Evan Carter grounds out. At least we're only down by one. Bill O'Donnell swings, he strikes out. Anton Trevino flies out, and Sixto grounds out. Colson Montgomery singles. Park pops up. Vukovic flies out. Ramirez stolen base by Montgomery. Ramirez grounds out. Come on, boys. We need to get that offense going like last game. Ray grounds out. Ollie flies out. Josh Groves flies out. And we still have yet to record a hit in this one. Did I completely jinx us or did I know exactly what this game was scripting? <laughs> oh, boy. Connor Scott strikes out. Brito strikes out. Lawler doubles. Uh, let's try and pick him off. Tremar Johnson brings in a run. It's 2 nothing. Damn it. So this game is definitely not on Garth Howe right now. Definitely not. He's given up six hits, which is a good chunk. But, I mean, our offense is nowhere right now. Carter grounds out. Bill Pineda flies out. Pip flies out. Ozzy flies out. The offense is absolutely nowhere. Double from Montgomery. Let's uh, try and pick him off. Park grounds out. Vukovic flies out. Ramirez. Runners thrown out trying to get home. Okay. We need to get our offense going, guys. We're only down by two. Bill O'Donnell singles. Okay, that's huge. Can he steal? He does. Can Trevino bring him in? He cannot. Can Six still get warmed up a bit? He's been struggling a lot here lately. He cannot. Can Ray bring him in? He cannot. God damn it. We only have one hit in this game. I completely jinxed us. Let's bring in Bobby Hyde here to try and uh, close out, or not close out this game, but try and get us 
to get back into this game a little bit. Pop up, ground out, and walk. Let's uh, pick him off. Boom, strike out. Nice. Come on, Ollie. Let's get uh, some runs on the board. Fly out, grow singles. Steals second. Bill Pineda strikes out. Damn it. Pip, you had a good game last game. He cannot get anything there, though. Are we seriously not going to score a single run like I actually mentioned after we scored 13 last game? Like, we shut them out. Now this is their chance to strike a, or close us out like that. Carter, solo shot. We're down 3 nothing. God damn it. Not on you, Bobby. Not on you. Single there. Let's pick you off. Hit by pitch. Oh, no. Now Bobby's losing it a little bit. Two runs score. We're down 5 nothing. Now we're falling apart here. Because we know we're going to lose this game. That's not great. Uh, boom. Sack fly. They go up 6 nothing. And yep, we're down to our last three batters potentially. We have only two hits in this game after a great last game. And we likely will be going to a game 7 here. Which is not great. Going to another game 7 against the White Sox. Unless we have a historic comeback in us here. Ozzy walks. Bill, fielder's choice. Trevino, fielder's choice. And Sixto flies out. We are going to a game seven for the second year in a row in the ALCS. And we only had two hits in that game, or what was it? Yeah, two hits in that game after a 13 0 win. And I don't want to go to Carmen Asuna for this game. There's no way I want to. I know Asuna has not been that guy for us. So we are going to go to Sammy Gomez for this game. And that means Osuna would, if we get to the World Series, would start the World Series. But we got to slay our demons here. Game 7, same spot as last year. We win this game. We go to the World Series against Miami. We lose this. We fall in the exact same spot as last year. And who knows, maybe the White Sox win the World Series this year instead. Um, let's make sure our lineup is ready to go here. I have not liked Sixo's performance lately, so I'm going to move him into a different spot to see if that helps him out a little bit. Uh, let's keep that going. Groves has been pretty good so far. Let's, uh, let's see. DH. Could move in like somebody like Brad Thornton as a DH. Because of that power hitting. But it's like the exact same as Pineda's. Who are we going up against in this game? Is it a left-hander or a right-hander? It's Napoleon Conrad. I forget if he's a righty or a lefty. I think he's a righty. If I remember right. Uh, he, no, he's a left-hander. Okay, so we got to adjust our left-handed lineup. So let's go to this instead. Let's go Sixto up here in like a two spot. Let's get um, hmm, Bill in the four spot. Yeah, something like that. And I don't know about keeping Johannes Bergen. He was okay, actually, in the last time we played against the left-hander. I could always substitute him out, I guess, with Brad Thornton if we really get into a bad spot. But let's keep it like that. And let's go to Game 7. Sammy Gomez will actually... Yeah, Sammy yeah, Sammy is going to be the pitcher for this game, I think. I think. If he's energized enough. Oh, boy. I don't like being in the same spot as last year. I wish we would have just won that game. Sammy's not fully energized, but I would not want to go to Osuna based on the numbers. Silva's not really energized. Montero isn't either. Obviously, Garth isn't. So, yeah, we're going to go to Sammy this game and put all our marbles on the table and hope we can get ourselves to the World Series. If we lose this game again, that's going to suck a lot. But we are very close to getting to a World Series already, which is really amazing considering we've only been in the playoffs two times. So let's see what happens. See if we can get something going here. We need our offense to get going because our pitching was solid last game. It wasn't the best in the world, but it wasn't the worst. We need our offense to do what it did in the regular season. Trevino strikes out. Sixto walks. Okay, I'll take a walk. Ozzy hits a single. Okay, this is good that our bats are coming alive here a little bit early. Bill O'Donnell, can he bring in Giancarlo? He cannot. Can Groves bring him in? He cannot. Well, at least we already got a hit. But we need to get more than one hit. See what Sammy's got in store. Single, not great. 
Jamar Johnson fly out. Carter grounds out. Ray McMahon strikes out. Ollie doubles. Let's go, Ollie. Let's go, Ollie. Can Yuenis Berg bring him in? No, he flies out. I should have tried to go steal for third, but I felt like it was a risk. Can Jeff Pitt bring him in? He cannot. Ground out. Pop up. And fly out. And Tontravino grounds out. Sixto double. Sixto's coming alive here in this game, which is good. We need him to keep on doing that, though. Ozzy, can he bring him in? He cannot, but we do got two guys on base now. We do have already four hits, so we're already coming a little bit alive offensively, which is good. Can Bill O'Donnell bring in Sixto? He does, and he brings in Ozzy Cardenas as well with a double. It's 2 nothing. That's exactly what we need is that offensive level again from the last time we won. We don't want to have another game where we just completely shut out. Josh Groves, can he bring in Bill? He does. It's 3 nothing. Let's go. But that's also still scary too because I know basically when you have a good offensive early game, then you can kind of blow it in the later stages. So I hope that's not the case here. Ray McMahon walks. We have another two guys on base. Napoleon Conrad's getting up there in pitches already at this point. Can Ollie bring in a run? He can't. Can Yoannis Berg bring in a run? He cannot. And we're up 3-0 headed into the bottom of the third. Sammy, strike out there. Ground out there. And a walk. Let's try to pick you off. Fly out. Nice. Jeff Pip grounds out. Trevino doubles. Let's go. I like that our offense is getting hits. Let's try and steal third because Conrad's a little bit tired. And we get caught. Got a little bit too aggressive there, but it is what it is. Sixto strikes out. Tremar Johnson up to bat now against Gomez. Fly out. Ground out. Single. Let's try to pick him off. Vukovic lines out. Ozzy Cardenas up to bat. He's only got one RBI in the postseason, I just realized. So he's not really doing what he normally does, but it's Ozzy, man. So let's see what Ozzy has. Flies out. Bill strikes out. And Josh strikes out. Alex Ramirez now singles. Let's try and pick him off. Chase DeLouder pops up. Park, stolen base from Ramirez. Park walks as well. Come on, Sammy, get out of this. They score on a run. It's now 3-1. Oh, no. Oh, boy. I might have to change out Sammy. Let's do against Lawler first. Two more runs. This game's tied. I should have made the change. Should have made the change. I felt like it was going to come. And this game's tied up again. We might have to intervene in the ninth inning again and watch whatever happens <laughs> if this game stays as close. Close, My goodness. I say close because of Birch. Um, let's put in... Let's see. Who do I want to put in at the spot? Let's go with uh, Dougie Rubel. Come on, Dougie. Fly out. Nice. Evan Carter. Runner thrown out trying to go home. Okay. Not a long game for Sammy, but... At least uh, he gave us a chance. Ray strikes out. Ollie grounds out. Johannes Berg reaches on an error via double. Damn. It must have been like uh, they must have had the ball go out and then the guy threw it like into the dugout or something. So Berg reaches second on an error. Can Pitt bring him in? No, he can't. Fly out. Vukovic singles. Ramirez strikes out. The louder stolen base by a... <laughs> By Vukovic? Are you kidding me? The louder brings him in. No. I I literally can sense when this game's going to do specific things. I said when you score early, then you blow games. Well, look at that. We've just allowed four straight runs. Oh, my goodness. Park grounds out. We need our offense. Come on, boys. Trevino. And then comes Elmo Atkinson, who's been terrible for them. So hopefully we can get going against him. Trevino strikes out. Six dough pops up and Aussie singles. Bill O'Donnell grounds out. God damn it. Brito strike out. Lawler pops up. Tamar Johnson flies out. Still only down by one. Josh Groves up the bat here in the eighth. We need offense going. Josh is going to force a pitching change to Jason Bartley. Josh strikes out. Ray strikes out. Ollie flies out. We're down to our last three outs. We need to basically have a good defensive inning here and then we'll intervene and watch the top of the ninth because obviously our season comes down to that. Evan Carter strikeout. Colson Montgomery singles. Let's try and pick him off. 
Vukovic, flies out, and Ramirez. Let's try and pick Montgomery off again. Singles, Montgomery's in scoring position. That's not good. This is a big spot. We need Ruble to get this out here. Uh, let's try and pick off first. Fly out, nice, okay. Now we are going to intervene. Our season's on the line here. We need to win this game, which means we need to score on a run here, or else the season is going to come to an end in the exact same spot as last year. I don't know who's up to bat, but hopefully it's someone that could actually hit. So they bring in their closer, Eddie Sterling, which hopefully this guy blows their game for them. Because it would be nice to get the exact same kind of redemption on them as they did to us. Man, we're this close though. Because last game we didn't do really much. This game, we had a 3-0 lead. Now we're down 4-3. And Johannes Berg is up first. He reached on an error last time. Not as exactly who I wanted to be hitting in this spot, but oh well. Johannes Berg, first pitch is I pop up. That's going to be caught. You don't want to swing at every single thing, man, at this point in time. You want to take your time. Don't rush things. And we're down to two outs now. Jeff Pip. <laughs> of course, it has to be the bottom of my order as well. Pip has not been great in this game. We need Pip to be patient here, and then it's down to our top of the order. Nice. Takes a ball. I'll take that. If he get on via walk, that would be a good scenario. He doesn't have to hit the ball. Come on, Pip. You got this, man. Jeff Pip hits that one and foul. One and one. Yeah, this really sucks that we're in the same spot almost as last year again. Pip now down to one and two. Damn it. We might be down to our last batter soon. Let's see what Pip's got in him. And he lets that one go. Nicely done. Two and two. Can he get to a full count? Potentially. Or get a hit. He gets full count. Let's go, Pip. Trevino is on deck, so our top of the order, at least coming up, if uh, Pip is able to get a walk here. Come on, Pip. Just don't uh, swing at anything stupid here. Oh, that was a little bit of a borderline one. I don't know if that would have been called a strike or not. Probably would have been, because it was on the line. So tough to tell. And he hits that one, and he gets on base with a single. So a big hit there from Jeff Pip. And we have the tying run on first play, uh, first, which is huge. But that also sets up a double play scenario for them. A little bit of a blooping hit out to, to the right side. And in comes Trevino, who's only one for four this game. He's had some big home runs in the series. Does Anton Trevino have something in him? He hits into a double play potentially. Nope. He hits only to first and pips in scoring position, but we're down to our last out. Not a good out bat from Trevino. We definitely needed much more out of him. I don't know why he just swung like that. We're down to Giancarlo Sixto. He needs to get on base here or else the season is over in the ALCS for the second consecutive year. I think it's about time soon that we'll win a World Series though if we lose this. Sixto watches the first one. It's a nice ball. But yeah, I think once our pitching rotation gets much better, we are definitely going to be a good team. But I really want us to win as soon as possible because some guys might start to drop off soon. Six to at bat. He doesn't go on that one. It's 2-0. and I'll take it. I will take it. But we don't want to obviously get into that spot where there could be like a fielder's choice scenario. So I hope that he could at least hit something that uh, gets us over. He goes on that one. But that was a strike regardless. It's 2-1 and one now. Come on, Sixto. Come on, you got this, man. Let's see what he's got. He hits that one pretty far, but it's going to be caught by Ramirez, and we lose. Of course, it had to be Ramirez that catches the ball at the end of it. We lose in the ALCS for the second consecutive year as the White Sox once again head to the World Series, this time to face Miami instead of Arizona. God damn it. That close, and of course Ramirez had to be the one to catch six of those ball. That was pretty close to going out. Just not enough power on it. Let's uh, skip through that because I do not want to see the White Sox celebrating here. Damn it. We had a 3 nothing lead in this game, and unfortunately we blew it. Unfortunately we blew it. Doug Rubel gets credited with the loss. God damn, man.
That really sucks. <laughs> I wanted to get to the World Series this year, but we were that close again. We're so close to winning one. I, I know that we're going to get a, eventually to a World Series based on our roster. We just need our pitching rotation to just improve a tiny bit, and then we should be good. But, yeah, 6 -0 hits this one. It looked like a fly ball, but it, it got enough distance almost to go pretty far. It almost went, yeah, it went to, like, to the warning track. So, like, if it was, like, an extra, like, I guess 20 feet this way, he should have been able to hit it. But, of course, it lands in Ramirez's glove. And the guy that was our former second round pick or competitive round balance pick catches the last ball to eliminate us, which is a big insult to the wound. But we had a 3 nothing lead, and that one hit in the sixth inning is the difference. Uh, that sucks. That sucks. That close. But, I mean, at least we're being a competitive team, but I hope that next year we are able to get to the World Series. So... Final thing, let's just wrap up this episode by looking at our player stats and an albeit. And then hopefully in the offseason we're able to maintain this team a lot. So, obviously Garth Howe was great in the playoffs for the most part. Sammy kind of was good at some stretches, kind of struggled in this last game. Osuna was terrible, but he'll probably be better next year. Pablo Silva was way better than I expected. He had 15 strikeouts in that game. And Montero was not very good. From a relief standpoint, Bobby Hyde was not very good. Olager was eh, not very good either. Darren Poles, not very good in the .1 innings he played. Jack Birch was pretty good. Doug Rubel was okay at times, but he did lose two games. Ken Robert was pretty good. Luis Guzman was really good. And Dennis Lake was eh, not the best. In terms of our batting, Bill Donald, pretty good playoffs for him. And this is also a season where he's a pending free agent, so that's scary. Sixto is good. Ozzy was good in some stages, but only the one RBI, so I expected a bit more out of him. Trevino was pretty good in this round, especially. Groves was pretty good. Ray was good. Like, a lot of players in our team was pretty good in terms of the offense, but it's just the pitching needs to find itself a little bit more, I think. So there is all that. I do actually want to take one last thing is our budget so i will show you guys once again the pending free agents for this off season so you can kind of let me know who you think we should drop and who we should try and hold on to this off season because it's going to be another tough off season for this team in terms of maintaining the roster so a lot of our guys are able to go to arbitration which is good uh but uh, i don't know if all of them would get arbitration stuff like buster cross might be gone but everybody else here still has arbitration which is good so we'll be able to hold on to them a bit longer. Ken Robert, though, is a, almost a pending free agent. Sammy's still got a few years of ARB as well. One year left of ARB for Bobby Hyde. So, got to take some of this into account. Uh, but free agent-wise, Fletcher Hoffman, he might be gone. Pedro Carrillo might be gone. Jack Birch might be gone, but I want to hold on to him, kind of. Bill O'Donnell might be gone, depending on his price. Steve Schneider. Jeff Pip. I want to hold on to one of these guys, I think, just because we don't have a lot of depth there base-wise. But uh, we might end up losing one of the two of them, or both of them. And then Ollie Gelman's also a pending free agent, so there's a lot of guys that we might end up losing this offseason. I'm really hoping we don't really lose too much, because obviously that might hurt us in terms of the playoffs a bit, but hopefully we're able to maintain this roster as much as possible going into next season. So, Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this episode of our Vancouver Rain Draft to Glory franchise mode. So in next episode, we will take it to the offseason. We'll try and maintain this roster and hope that this team's able to get back to the ALCS again next year, but hopefully with not the White Sox and hopefully with a team that's much easier than uh, the White Sox have been for us so we can actually get to a World Series and uh, get one before some of these guys start to drop off. So anything down below, and I'll see you guys next time.